Hello everybody watching at home, this is Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Uh, today we're going to be talking about, she was asking for it. That whole entire monolithic debate uh, as of late that I've seen just going rampant on Facebook. Article after article, meme after meme with this whole, oh she was asking for it. And there's like this one with these pictures of all these different girls dressed in different gradients from fully clothed to naked. And underneath all of them, it says she is not asking for it. And the point is to say that it doesn't matter how you dress, even if you look slutty, or even if you're not wearing much clothes and you're revealing a lot of skin, even if you're fully naked, that still does not mean you are asking for it. That's the point. And everyone seems to really be jumping on that bandwagon. I'd like to say that I'm not so inclined to jump on that bandwagon. But listen. You know, I'm not agreeing and I'm not saying that, you know, if you dress provocatively or you show some skin and you choose to dress that way and you're comfortable dressing that way, then that means that if you are raped or abused sexually in any way, then it's justified and you are asking for it. That is not what I'm saying. It is just as fucked up and uncalled for as if you're fully clothed. In that respect, it shouldn't matter how you dress. And I agree even if you're naked, if you are asking for it, then you will ask for permission or you will ask the person to, you will permit them and you will ask them to do something to you if you want them to. You know, having, being naked doesn't say it enough. But I think, I think people are taking it the wrong way. I think girls are kind of stretching it and giving it their own kind of spin so that they can justifiably defend themselves against the whole entire notion that they can't just dress like sluts. You know, I think that's the thing, they're trying to spin it off. When people say that she was asking for it because of the way she's dressed, they're not actually saying, well, she was literally asking for it and hence she got what she asked for. That's not what they're saying. I think what they're meaning to say, and let's look at the meaning of the, the person communicating this idea instead of just how you want to take it so you can justify things your way. Let's look at how people intend it. When they say she was asking for, I think what they mean is, you know, let's be realistic here, you know, we're all mammals, we're all animals, and some of us are a lot less domesticated and tamed, and we all have instincts, and the more skin that is revealed in whatever you're wearing, and, or if you're walking around naked, the reality is that that will be very attractive to a lot of guys, and some of those guys probably can't control themselves as better as anyone else. This doesn't mean that you are wrong for dressing that way or that you should change, but it does mean that it pays to be aware and of the big picture and how reality is, despite your ideals of how everyone should just be perfect and everyone should just do right apart from wrong. People do the wrong thing sometimes and shit happens in all kinds of fucked up ways and that's the reality of it. You know, some, like I said, are less domesticated than others. So, if you're dressing in such a way where you are increasing the chances of a horrible outcome occurring and something nasty happening, then in a way, you are asking for it and not literally asking for it and you're getting, getting the dish that you ordered on the menu and it's being delivered to you just the way you ordered it and you got what you asked for and hence it's all on you and there's nothing to cry about. That's not what people mean. Let's not be silly and petty about this. But if you, if you walk into, I don't know, an African American club of some kind of rap club, whatever, let's not be too stereotypical, and you walk in dressed in a KKK outfit and somebody punches you you know, what, you, I, would, you, would I be totally uncalled for if I said, oh, that guy was asking for it? You know, he, he pretty much dressed in such a way as to provoke that kind of attention and that kind of reaction. You know, if you are running on a field, an archery field, and you dress like a target with rings on you, and somebody accidentally shoots you, you know, you are asking for it. Not literally. But it's another way of saying that, given the reality of the situation, given the reality of the way the world is, despite your ideals, let's look at reality. Given all of that, 
how you were dressed did not help did not help and I think that's the point that people are making it's not they're not saying you know and it's different saying dressing like a target on a field I know it's different than choosing to dress more revealing and whatever being comfortable with your body and sharing it whatever whatever it's different and I know that you know because a girl should be able to dress in such a way and for a guy to actually push past the barriers of respect and uh, that's your rights to not be violated you know it's very different than somebody mistaking you for a target you know it's not like somebody mistakes you for wanting to have sex just because you're revealing some skin you know or because you're naked it's very different and obviously the man is transgressing every time that happens it's a bit different but the point remains that given the reality you are increasing the chances of this shit happening by not taking appropriate measures and you know being moderate in how much skin you want to reveal given where you're going if you're going to Northbridge somewhere out in the open to the city where there's a lot of people as opposed to somewhere more private not so many people or a nude beach you know the, the settings change so does the levels of appropriateness and how you should appropriate what you wear so that you get the desirable outcomes and responses that you want and that's what this comes down to for me is that a lot of people have this ideal how everyone should be how reality should be they fail to perceive what's actually going on what's actually happening and when shit hits the fan because they're stuck in their own little deluded bubble of ideals and distortions when shit actually hits the fan they go oh wait what a travesty this is wrong it's, it's, it is wrong but if you weren't so naive and ignorant of the fact that the shit happens and you are not helping whatsoever in staving off those outcomes then you're not you're not accountable for what happened you're not responsible and it, it doesn't mean it's your fault and you were asking for it but you didn't help the situation that's the point and that's my thoughts on that um, like I said I believe it's wrong if people do suffer these outcomes but I think it pays to be realistic as ideal and righteous and justified as everyone is and thinking there should be a fair world and people should be able to dress how they will and act how they will and and nobody will ever ever step past the line people do step past the line and I think until reality itself changes for the better and people do become a lot more you know respectful and honorable until that reality changes maybe we've got to start changing our expectations and start appropriating some guidelines especially on how we're dressing and where we're going you know it won't justify like I said if you get raped because you're dressing like a slut doesn't justify it but you are upping your chances of that happening than somebody who decides okay I'm gonna be around a lot of strangers I might be drinking it's gonna be a long night I'm gonna to go to a lot of places I'm gonna take the safer route and not just wear a string around my breast and a string around my waist I'm actually gonna cover myself a bit because that seems wise it may not be right you know you should be allowed to dress how you will and surely it doesn't mean you're a slut surely people just love showing all their skin and all their pink bits because that's just the name of fashion you know that's just being comfortable with your body why why would that have anything to do with attraction and and, and sex appeal really that's insane um, so it's not justified if it happens but it happens and you know if people fight what is happening and just do whatever and then when shit hits a the fan they complain what did that happen in a way you were asking for it because you already knew what the reality was and you still made that cue you still rang that bell and you got the typical response in this day and age to that cue and to that ring you get the typical customer coming up and laying the same old moves that's all I gotta say about that feel free to like and share and subscribe post your own food for thought something I can do a what segment on otherwise be wise guys and align yourselves and your acts with reality instead of waiting for reality to align with you thanks